Hello and welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. In this video I'm going to be talking about Diana, Princess of Wales and her burial site. It has come to note in recent days that her burial site has been left to go to rack and ruin. There's been lots of overgrown bushes on the island that she's buried at. Uh, the monuments have had crumbling stonework and flaking paintwork and it's basically just been left to go to rack and ruin. Um, Charles, Spe Charles Spencer, her brother, has decided now to overhaul the entire grounds, including the island that she's buried at, at Allfoot Park, her ancestral home, and it will be completed in uh, 2017 to mark 20 years since she died. And obviously she was buried there. Here we see in this picture the island in the foreground with the ancestral home in the background. Another clearer shot from a different angle. We see the island really clearly. The island is affectionately known as the Oval. Members of the public can visit throughout the year. Here we see an example of some of the unattended sites overgrown with moss, general disrepair. Here we see the Diana memorial that the members of the public can visit, showing her name and her birth year and the year that she died in 1997. Here we see another shot showing the outline portrait of Diana's head with the commemorative plaques on the wall. People often visit and leave tributes of flowers or handwritten messages. Another side angle. Here we see the island with the overgrown foliage. I'm not sure what the plans are to do, but I imagine it would be to cut them back, maybe thin out the trees, clean the stonework. At certain times of the year, the lake is filled with, filled with lots of flowers, li lilies and white roses that grow. Here we see a clearer shot of the memorial urn on a stone plinth. You can see the moss and what looks like algae. Hopefully this will be cleaned and repaired. Another long shot of the island. Visitors can see the urn and plinth from the bank of the oval. Here we see an aerial shot of the island. There is a bridge that can be put so that members of the family can visit Diana's grave in peace and privacy. William and Harry do visit along with other members of the family. It is said that Diana was buried in a Karen Walker black long sleeve dress. Here we see a press cutting of the funeral cortege car, the hearse, driving through for the last time the gates of Wolfhope in 1997. Floral tributes thrown by, by the grieving hands of her adoring public onto the hearse as it drove by. And I'm going to end this video with a smiling, happy Princess Diana in happier times. Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode. Please subscribe for all the latest channel uploads. Last year I brought you the news that Diana's gravesite at Althorpe had become overgrown and unkempt. 
Following her funeral in 1997, Diana's body was brought to her ancestral home of Althorpe. It was here that her body was buried on a man-made ornamental lake known as the Oval. Earl Spencer, last year, announced that Diana's burial site would be renovated in time for the 20th anniversary of her death. In a recent documentary, released about Diana's life as a mother, we got to see some of those renovations. Stonework on the Diana Memorial has been cleaned. Bushes and shrubs have been cleared and the trees thinned out. The bottom comparison photo shows how the island used to look. Again in this photo we get to see the island before the renovation works began. However that is in stark contrast to now where fresh plants have been planted along the borders of the oval. Prince Harry spoke out in the documentary, revealing he had only cried twice since his mother's death. One of those occasions was at the gravesite, when she was being buried on the Oval. Prince William also revealed that he constantly talks to his children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, about Granny Diana. Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode. Please subscribe for all the latest channel uploads. In this video we take a look at Diana, Princess of Wales' burial island. Diana, Princess of Wales' funeral took place on the 6th of September 1997 at Westminster Abbey. From there she was driven up to her ancestral home at Althorpe. Here you can see an aerial photograph of the estate and main house. Diana's burial site is situated on a man-made lake known as the Oval. The island is completely cut off and only accessed via a temporary bridge which can be constructed when needed. Little has been seen as to what is exactly on the island up till now. Here we see aerial photographs of the Oval. They seem to show the exact location of Diana's grave. You can clearly see footpaths leading to a central location. Here you can see an aerial photograph of the ornamental urn which can be seen from the bank of the oval.
All the pathways lead to a central point on the island. Of which a round circle can be seen. The circle appears to be raised as it is cast in shadow. There appears to be a white monument placed on the raised dais. This also casts a shadow. The white monument is completely surrounded by a screened hedge. This makes the location completely private from the viewing public. Please enjoy the following photographs. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it then please leave a like, comment and share on social media. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest channel uploads. From me in Shropshire, goodbye.